Hello and welcome back to 30 apps in 30 days. Yes, I am building and shipping 30 apps in 30 days. It's a bit mad, but we're six days in and we haven't failed yet. Start a new round. Coming up in today's video. I don't want to be spending all day on this. It's better for the LLM to actually create like a master plan. I like it. I oh, no, come on. Don't do me like that. We've built a bunch of apps so far and it would be too long to reel them all off in the intro. So if you're new here, go back and check them out. But yesterday we built a cool domain name finder that helps you find really good .com domain names. So definitely check that one out. It's Saturday today. I'll usually be out on the golf course. I do love myself a bit of golf, but we're not there today. We're shipping apps instead. But just because we can't play golf today, it doesn't mean we can't build an app to do with golf. See where I'm going here. Welcome to day six, let's jump in. Okay, here's a game plan. I've been sitting on this one for a while now. I've been playing golf for four or five years. And when I say I've put a lot of time into this game, I do mean it. And if you've played golf before, it is not a straightforward game. It's very tough. And us golfers will try anything we can do to get better. It's like in any sport, you want to know the stats. You want to see where you're making errors, where you can improve and what you need to work on. Otherwise, you're just going blind. So that's what we're building today. We're building a stats tracker that I can actually use out on the golf course to find the weakness in my game. And then I can work on that. There are stat trackers out there. They're all pretty rubbish and a lot of them track the wrong thing. And if you're not into golf, hopefully there'll be some good learnings in this video. Check out how we approach the build because like I said, it's already mid afternoon. I don't wanna be spending all day on this. So you're gonna see how I approach this if we want a quick build today. And a quick check in on our domain name finder tool. We've just launched it. We've got 20 visitors already. We've got some good feedback coming. So yeah, like I said, check that out linked down below. Get in whilst it's still free. Okay, so here's the deal. If you just look for stats to track in golf, you're going to get back the generic stats, fairways here, greens and regulation, penalties and putts. You've also got things like stroke gain, which a lot of people use. And there's some, and I'm not going to go into detail, but there are benefits to these generic ones and there's a lot of drawbacks. And actually for amateurs in the game, there's much better stats you can track. That brings me on to my man, Golf Psychic. He has a great golf channel, lots of good tips, not so much in the swing side of things, but more in the course management, the decisions you make. And he has some very good stats that he tells everyone to track. So those are the stats that I'm gonna build into this app. Here is a man himself. Let's just check out this intro. And then this is gonna go through the stats and give some more context, which then we'll base our tracking off. Okay, so it'd be easy to watch this video, procrastinate a bit, but time is off the essence. So we're gonna take the transcript, get it into Claude, and then get that breakdown. I think we're gonna use Convex again. If we can get this workflow working, it'll be super quick. We got burnt by the auth the other day, but hopefully we have learned from that. So yeah, I'm gonna use this rules inside the project. So Claude Co can hopefully just get cracking with it. And I'm gonna use a Next.js Convex starter go we've got that and again like i said convex is everything is within the code so we don't need to worry about separate databases and getting that all set up if you want to try out convex and see the magic use convex chef it's like their version of lovable and bolt but it absolutely nails the back end flows it might not look the best but things work i've got a referral code below that will give me a few more credits it's not sponsored or anything but honestly you'll be surprised if you try this out but like I said, I'm just gonna start this locally with Next.js and I'll let you know how we get on. And again, just to show you the behind the scenes and how I use LLMs, we've got these docs here, it says run this, but I don't know, do I need to create an Next.js project first? I always encourage people, if you're ever stuck with things like this, just use LLMs, it will tell you. So let's see what it says. So I'm actually doing it manually and this is actually pretty nice. I'm gonna try Clerk here because, because I've been hearing about it a lot and Apparently, I should be able to just easily get auth and payments and all that working. Okay, so it's adding the curse rules as well, which is pretty sweet. So Claude Code should be able to access that. Maybe this is the way we just move really quick now. So as you can see, it's then telling us what we need to do here. And let's see if this works. Create new project. Stats tracker. Cloud. Okay, so we're still in the setup. Okay, so that's taking me to a convex dashboard. Nice, charming duck. I know there's gonna be some golf people watching this, so I don't know, so maybe I'll go a bit easier on the development side of things. And and maybe if we get this built before it gets dark, we can actually go out to the course and try it out. 
That would be sweet. A few moments later. We've really not made much progress today. And if you can see what we got up on this screen, it's not much. So let's see how we do. Okay, this has been very unproductive. ATN issues, CSS issues. You're about to see an incredible one-shot prompt. Let's, let's get to work. Okay, so what we're going for is a full map, app structure, layout, with hopefully Shatien components in there. That's what I've asked for. This way, when we actually build this MVP flow, hopefully it'll work and look okay out of the box. So let's see, can we make it to the golf course tonight? Okay, so what I've done is I've pasted in this grand plan. I've said, make a master plan. I've said, Always keep the plan doc up to date. Keep it simple, use Shad CN. And so, yeah, like I said, I've given it this map, which is a user experience flow. It's got UI components in there, which are linked to Shad CN. So in theory, because we've done that setup, it should do a decent job. Should be in the famous last words. So we'll check back in a second and see how it goes. Okay, so it's made this plan, database schema. Actually, I'll show you here quickly. Oh, I don't, we definitely don't need that cursor chat. Again, so much of vibe coding is in the planning. Yeah, sure, we could just jump in and start saying, okay, we need to do the dashboard, let's just do that. But then you can just, you can find yourself just getting completely lost there. And it's better for the, it's better for the LLM to actually create like a master plan and then it can chunk through, keep track of it. And there's some really cool tools that can do that. That I wanna use more like Taskmaster that breaks down these tasks then expands them and goes through systematically users agents it's pretty incredible actually what some of these tools do now and this in itself is incredible as well so like here i'm saying can you just make sure this works with our auth system make sure it works with convex and there we go to explicitly show okay ready to get this show on the road let's go see on the flip side if we get it done soon then we can go and test it if not then we're gonna be testing it at our desk. Not ideal. Okay, just when we thought there was no hope, we have life. Let's go. And I guess we'll probably look at, make sure that it's. All right, cool. So we've got database schema, convex functions, dashboard. So again, it's completely clean. We've got auth here, which is sweet. I don't think we've got the actual rounds going, but average, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, we don't think we've got that working. Start new round, probably not working. Save our state and get up then keep cracking on let's go we might actually make it out and again the value in this app is not just hey like we can just build an app with claw code as you can see there that wasn't a huge bit of work it's about understanding how to approach it right how to plan it the concept of the app and you can see here that i'm stumbling through here making a bunch of mistakes even though i've been doing vibe coding for the last year and development before that so new people coming into it if they have the right context, the right instructions, they know how to give that as well to the LLMs, then you can really have a lot of success. But it's not always easy. And that is the hard part. The hard part is knowing how to make it easy, if that makes sense. It's a weird dichotomy. And a lot of devs know all these tricks and these libraries and what to do and Shad CN. But when you're starting out, that doesn't really get spoken about much. Yeah, funny one. Strawberries on deck right now, so we're going for the healthy choice. No beers right now. Okay, so let's check in on our cursor grand plan. Oh, has it kept it updated? No, not quite, but we move. It's keeping track of it here. And it's done the history page, hole trackers, round tracking. It's talking a big talk. Let's see if it let's see if it's gonna deliver. That's the question. Okay. Okay, start new round. I like it. Hi oh, no, come on. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. All right, let's try that again. So start new round. Bosh, golf club. Starting. Okay, so let's say first hole is a par five. Hole, let's say we get six on there. Three par, penalty, bunker. Okay, it is working, yeah, sure. I feel like it's not really done the core stats that I wanted it to track though. So now I've given it the core stats again and just said, yo, let's make sure that we got it. But to be honest, I'm pretty happy about the execution of that as well with Convex. Again, I'm new to Convex, so if you ask me to go in now and explain how it's all working, I'm not going to do that. I do need to understand though, and that's another thing with Vibe Coding. It pays a lot to actually understand what's going on. So then what we can do as well, and let me show you, because right now like I don't. 
I could sit here and say, yeah, I completely understand how Convex works. I don't. So here's what I'm going to do. So I'm saying, can you make me a .md file explaining how Convex works in our own project? So we're not just learning the theory about Convex. We're actually learning how it works inside our app. And that's the thing that can supercharge your learning and getting better at all of this as well. I think the key thing here is that we wanted to change how some of the stats tracking works. And with Superbase, we'd have to go and change all the structures there. But with Convex, we don't need to do that. That's my understanding anyway. We've got this Convex explained. So you can see here, we'll just go to that file and we can do a bit bedtime reading if we want to actually understand how it is actually working. Convex is a brain, stores all the data, keeps everything organized. So there we go. All right, we're feeling confident. We're going to get our golf stats on this and we won't set up the environment just yet because we need to do some stuff with Convex, but let's get that and let's get our domain. We've got an old golf domain we're going to use. It's not the best one. I generated some better ones with name game strong, but we'll just use elk greens for now. As we know on this challenge, we've got to get it out to production. So let's do that. Okay, cool. So we've got some better stats here out of position shot and then once you do it you get a Y. I just want to say we don't it looks quite small so for phones it might be tricky more padding and spacing so let's make sure it's that we've also added inside wedge range we want to be able to see why we want to track that penalty what we don't have here is hero shots avoided we've only got one two three four five is that the last stat that we've missed penalties one two three four five wedge range looking quite clean to be honest with you We'll give it a little tweaks yet and then we'll publish it. Oh, this is new. This is nice. New drop. Wake up a new tweaks and just dropped. I like that. Good tweet. Okay. Let's. I'm a bit scared to do this. Tailwind V4. I'm going to make sure everything's pushed. To be honest, this is dumb because we've run into so many issues. So I'm actually not going to do this right now. Let's try and get it deployed. We'll see in a sec. I've just signed up through Google here. Yeah. And apparently it's just working. Start new round. Bosch Golf Club. Nice. Save and exit to dashboard. Awaiting deployment. Deploy your app to production. I remember we need to redeploy it, but to be honest, it's bloody well working. Let me redeploy, I guess. It's live. I can track the stats. Can we go before <laughs> light is running out? Let's go put it to a test on the real golf course. All right, I did just did a very quick sanity check. There we go. It's working. It's live. Let's go and track some stats from a hole and see how it fares. So I guess we're going to be able to put this app to the real test in a second. Will it work? It was a very smooth deployment, wasn't it? Maybe too smooth, you could say. All right, so here we are out on the course. Just hit a couple balls to warm up. Check the views on it. Lovely English channel there. But uh, let's go and play a hole with, with Elk Greens, our new golf stats tracking app that we have shipped today. So here we are, we're on the first tee. Well, we're actually on the second tee. So let's go over to elkgreens.com. And let's start a new round. Just to show that is in production there. Always got to make sure we're following the challenge rules. So enter club, dyke, golf. That's a nice shot, isn't it? Um, well, we're actually, Starting on the second, so hole two, it's a par five. Um, honestly, I've not played at all this week, so I might need a little breakfast ball, but you know, <laughs> let's get it. A little bit of a fader, but it plays, it does play. This video is a little bit weird because I've obviously got the dev audience, I've obviously got the vibe code audience, but maybe I've got a few golf people watching. So hopefully, hopefully this is cool seeing the actual app being used the same day it was built. Usually with the driver, people will spray it. You know, maybe they'll spray it into those bushes over there. Um, which would be this out of position shot. Hopefully that's in focus. But as you can see, our ball's just there. So we are not out of position. You never know what can happen. Don't speak too soon. All right, we are. I'm gonna play a smart shot here, just a nice easy seven iron. Okay, that has actually gone over a bit. All right, so we just had the marshal come up to us. He was confused, someone coming out on the second at this time, this late in the day. But we got both our balls here. And we got a shot into the green, not too bad. 
I was gonna say, if we lost those, that would be a very bad start to the YouTube golf career, wouldn't it? All right, cool, so I'm gonna have a look. So it's about 120 odd yards. So now in our app, let me pull the app up. I'd say we avoided, we avoided the hero shot. We avoided spraying a wood down here. We've not gone out, out of position. Um, inside wedge range, so that's where we are now. So now we're gonna track our shots inside wedge range. By the way, I don't want anyone analyzing my swing. This isn't what the video is about. It a bit. Over to the left. We are up here. So would I consider this an easy up and down? No, I don't think so. We're pin high. There's our ball. We need to get down there. That green, yeah, it's not an easy chip down the hill when it rolls out. We were close to having a double chip there. Not quite. But you know, not ideal. This is quite an uphill, it's sandy. So we do need to give this a bit of a knock. Okay, so we walk off with a bogey, which is completely fine. I mean, really, I think for bogeys like that, we're not actually using our app much. Um, we could say, in theory, it failed easy up and down. Um, I didn't commit to it. I didn't, I was a bit nervous, so I kind of caught the grass and uh, wedge inside. Why over a par three? Well, bad approach, I missed the green. Should really be hitting that. So we go, the first hole logged with the app, pretty sweet. I think this should also just go to show like with vibe coding now you know traditionally a lot of software engineers wouldn't be playing golf or have any interest in building golf apps but now now that things have opened up that is possible and you can build things even in your like super niche interest you can build apps you can build tools that make it easier and better for you to do whatever you're doing so yeah that concludes day six of 30 apps in 30 days hope you enjoyed this one a bit different getting away from the desk i enjoyed it though do go and check out all those other apps if you haven't and on my channel i've got a bunch more vibe coding content and maybe we'll have to get that golf channel going hey catch you in a bit